everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. This book takes place in a high school. It's narrated by Leo, who's one of the students at the high school, and this new girl comes to school named Stargirl, and Stargirl is really different and, you know, weird by the normal standards of society. You know, she likes to play the ukulele around school and sing happy birthday to everyone and she wears clothes that aren't like the other kids wear and she puts a flower in a vase on her desk for homeroom every day and things like that. Like she just does a lot of things that are out of the ordinary for these kids. This book is mainly just about nonconformity and looking at people differently and just because someone's different doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Stargirl is one of those books that came highly highly recommended to me by a lot of different people. I know a lot of people read this when they were in about junior high and absolutely loved it and I can completely see why. It's a great story about looking at people complexly and how it's okay to be different and sometimes it's even better to be different. But I didn't completely fall in love with this book the way a lot of other people did. I think it just has to do with me being so far away from the junior high high school world that I viewed this book a lot differently. I feel like if I had read this when I was that age, I probably would have liked it a whole lot more. When I first started reading this book, I was really worried because it felt like Stargirl was turning into that manic pixie dream girl trope. Because the story is narrated through Leo's eyes, the way he describes her is literally like a manic pixie dream girl. She's very weird and she's different. She is going to have this effect on Leo and then you don't really find out a lot about Stargirl, but luckily you do find out a little bit more about who Stargirl is and things like that, so at least she has a little bit more depth to her character but it still was a little bit borderline for my liking. And I think another thing that happened for me personally is just the fact that I was able to guess everything that happened in this book because there is very obvious hints throughout the book. I felt like the first half, the entire time, the end of every chapter, there was always this part of like, the chapter is about the star girl did this really amazing thing and then the last line of the book would be like but this wouldn't last forever and so you're basically able to guess that star girl's gonna change and people aren't gonna like her towards the end of the book and all of this stuff and I felt like just having that at the end of every chapter just made me be like well just get to that point already and stop telling me all these weird things that star girl did another problem I had with this book is just I didn't get Leo really I mean I guess he's just a typical teenage boy but I didn't understand why he claimed to like star girl so much but then wouldn't stick up for him in public but I guess that's just the way high schoolers are and I kind of forget that sometimes and there were a lot of like little weird things that never made sense to me like their whole TV show never made a lot of sense because what school would allow a show where they're allowed to bash other students? The way the show was described in the book is they would have someone on and one of the characters is like the host of the show and then they would have a panel of people who could ask questions to that student and all the questions would always be like really rude questions and I was reading this and I was like who? What administration would allow that? Who? Why is everyone okay with this show? And just that whole setup just made everything seem really horrible and it's like why would anyone even want to go on that show if everyone's just gonna make fun of them they say like everyone's okay at the end and they, everyone realizes it's a joke but at the same time I'm like that's a really cruel joke I don't know if that's just the adult in me speaking but it just never made sense to me and so when Stargirl went on I was like of course this is gonna end badly that being said though I really did enjoy Stargirl as a character and I like the ideas that Jerry Spinelli brings up through Stargirl about looking at other people more than looking at yourself I think that's something that everyone goes through no matter what age you're at but I think a lot of times you know teenagers especially struggle with this idea of oh what do people think about me and oh I need to do these certain things so that way these people don't hate me. Star Girl is sort of the opposite she's basically just like let me focus on these other people who seem to be ignored and try to bring them some happiness in their life or try to love them a little bit more which I think is a really great idea that everyone sort of needs in their life. I do recommend it for people if you haven't read it yet. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads because I liked it but I didn't love it. There's just all those little things that kept bugging me throughout the story that I wasn't crazy about but I think the overall message of the book and the overall ideas are really good. Um, I especially think that this should be like required reading for junior high kids because this is perfect for that level and I think this could bring about a lot of really great topics for kids to talk about and 
maybe even bring a little bit of hope to those kids who are a little bit different or feel a little bit misunderstood or don't necessarily fit in with the crowds. So yeah, that's my review of Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. If you've read this book, feel free to leave comments down below and let me know what you guys think of it. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.